Hi everyone and welcome to our summary on measuring objects using a light microscope. What we're going to be doing in this video then is looking at the specification reference 2.1.1b which is our preparation examination of microscope slides for use in our light microscopy. The bit we're going to be focusing on is the eyepiece graticule and stage micrometer use. First thing then we need to understand what on earth those two things actually are. First one, the eyepiece graticule. Quite simply, your eyepiece graticule is a little circular transparent disc that's got a ruler etched onto the surface of it. Now, as the name suggests from eyepiece graticule, then we're going to place that into the eyepiece. What we then have with this little ruler is basically this little scale that's got all these little graduations running through it. Now, that's going to be placed inside the eyepiece itself and these little measurements on here will give us a value in eyepiece units. It doesn't have something like millimetres or anything like that and we'll see why as we go through this video. But each of these little graduations we'd refer to as an individual eyepiece unit. Because that's in the eyepiece, we are going to find that it's going to change how many of these little units are actually going to correspond to a particular measurement depending on which objective lens we have. So before we can do any measurements here, we need to carry out what's called calibration for each of the objective lenses using that second part, the stage micrometer. Now, the stage micrometer, quite simply, is a small scale that's placed on the stage of the microscope that we use to calibrate those eyepiece divisions. Now, the reason we've got to do that is because each of the different objective lenses will have a different value for it. So we need to use this stage micrometer with each of those different objective lenses, first of all, to calibrate, to know how much those values correspond to for each of our objective lenses. So the stage micrometer itself has 100 divisions on it and the whole scale is one millimetre long. So from one end of it to the other is just one millimetre. And between those two sides of our scale, we have 100 little divisions. So quite simply, we can do a nice little calculation. One millimetre divided by 100 tells us that each of the little divisions on here is going to be 0.01 millimetres if we wanted to convert our 0.01 millimetres into micrometres, all we need to do is times by 1000. So if we do that, we find out that each division on there is 10 micrometres. So how do we do this calibration thing? Well, first thing, you need to put the eyepiece graticule into the eyepiece. Quite often in schools, the technicians will have already done that for you. So you'll be presented with a microscope that when you look through the eyepiece, there's already that little scale in there. Next thing, we place our stage micrometer on the microscope stage and we focus it using the lowest power objective lens. Once we've actually focused it, you want to line up the little lines on the eyepiece graticule with those on the stage micrometer. So you're going to have a couple of these little scales basically and the idea is to try to line them up with a couple of the big lines okay. So don't just randomly shove it on a little line because if you're doing that it's going to go horribly wrong. What you want to do is where you've got all these little deviations don't shove it so that it's randomly in the middle move it so that hopefully you're going to have that nicely lined up with one of the larger lines. This is going to make your life easier in the long run. What we then do is we need to compare those eyepiece graduations to the graduations on our stage micrometer. What do I mean by that? Well, if we have a look at my little picture in the bottom left here, we can see our eyepiece graticule scale is the one at the top. Here's our stage micrometer at the bottom. Now, what we're doing is we've lined it up and you can see on this one, so we've used the line for the 50 and we've literally brought that up very nicely onto our eyepiece graticule. 
Then, if we have a little look, we're going to go from 50 to 60. We're going to use our one millimeter for simplicity. Now, what we can say there is between our 50 and our 60 is one millimeter of real distance. And therefore, what we can do is if we count each of these little markers on there, and by count, I mean look at the numbers and work it out. So we can see we've got 35 is our starting point, 70 is the end point. So 35 from 70 gives us 35 eyepiece graduations in our one millimeter. So how do we work out what that is worth in terms of an actual measurement? One millimeter divided by 35 tells us that each of those little graduations on the eyepiece is equivalent to 0 0.0286 millimeters. Because we don't often use millimeters when we're using our light microscopes, what we then do is multiply that by a thousand to give us 28.6 micrometers. So what we can say is using this lowest power objective, then our eyepiece division is equivalent to 28.6 micrometers. Now, once you've calibrated that, you could then place your specimen under that same objective lens and then work out how many of those eyepiece little graduations go from one side of an object to another. We can then just multiply it by 28.6 and we now know the size of that particular object under the microscope. What you would have to do though is of course repeat that process for the other objective lenses because when you obviously increase the magnification with the new objective lens you're going to get different numbers of graduations on that same area. So obviously you need to repeat that calculation for each of your objective lenses so that you then have calibrated your particular graticule. This is an example of the kind of question that you can get on the A-level papers about it. So first bit is just telling us a little bit of background that relates it to what it actually is. We've got our image and then it tells us to calculate the length of the line labeled X to Y and give your answer in micrometers to two significant figures. Now, the first thing you are going to need for these questions is a ruler folks. Just a point on the rulers. If any of you still have those ridiculous bendy rulers, throw it away. Because when you've been bending it and twisting it all over the shop for the past few years, it now is no longer an accurate measuring tool. Because as you do that, you've actually stretched it ever so slightly and therefore a millimetre is no longer a millimetre. While we do allow a certain level of flexibility in the measurements, it's not that much. So you need to measure carefully, get a proper ruler first of all. Then when you're doing this, please don't rush, place it very carefully so that one end of your ruler is on the X there, and then very carefully make sure you read where it goes onto the Y. I'm obviously not going to be able to do this 100% accurate so you can check it on a screen because depending on your actual size screens, etc., the measurements will be different. So I measured this earlier, and on mine, then I got it as 26 millimeters. So when I measured it, then side to side, X to Y was 26 millimeters. I recommend that when you take these measurements, check it. So do it once, move the ruler away, put it back on from fresh again, and check your measurement. If the two match up, perfect, carry on. If they're different, repeat it again and do it a third time. Whichever one you've got as a second option, then that's the one to use, okay? So we've measured X to Y, we've got 26 millimeters. Now, down here, we can see that the magnification is times 160. So what we need to do first of all is we are going to take our 26 and we're gonna divide it by 160. When we do that, we get an answer of 0 0.1625. That's still in millimeters we need it in micrometers. So we're then going to multiply that by a thousand to give us our answer in micrometers, which gives us 162.5 micrometers. But our answer needs to be to two significant figures. So last thing we're going to do is obviously looking 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5, 162.5,
to take that to just two significant figures would be 160 micrometers. So do make sure you read the question carefully because had you not given it to your two significant figures, that would have cost you a mark. Always show your working as well because you'd be surprised even if you've made a silly error at the end, you may well be able to pick up a mark earlier on for some of the calculation that you've done. As always, I do suggest you subscribe to the channel so you can see when I next upload a video. And of course, head on over to the A-Level Biology website where you can find a range of other resources to help you in your study of A-Level Biology.